Hello, everyone. Welcome to Style Masterclass. This episode, I want to talk to you about how style is an inside job. I know we are still in January 2021, so there is a little bit of the New Year's resolutions, New Year's goals, word of the year craziness still happening. And I love all of that. But for some of you, you may take a look at your list. In fact, I'm going to challenge you to take a look at your goals list, your resolution list, whatever you want to call it. And I want you to take a look and see if there's anything on that list that has to do with you working on your mindset, your emotions, or anything going on for you internally, or are all of your goals focused on changing something about your body? Are all of your goals weight loss, exercise more, lose a size, go on a detox? Like, is that what your list is comprised of? If that's all your list is comprised of, I want to challenge you, just like I challenged my community last week. I'm going to continue this challenge. Ask yourself, what do I want? And then allow whatever that is to come up without excusing it away, without pushing it down, and most importantly, without telling yourself, but first, I have to lose weight. But first, I need to drop a size. But first, I need to change something about my body before I'm able to pursue my goals or dreams. No. What I want for all of you this year is everything that you've been putting off on your to-do list because you think, well, someday when something changes about my body, then I'll go do that thing I always wanted to do. I'm challenging all of you this year to move up the items on your to-do list that have been in a holding pattern that have not been gotten to because you've had this type of mentality or mindset. Now, how does this relate to styles and inside job? If some of you wanna up-level your wardrobe this year, you wanna get out of maybe the jammies you've been wearing because of being indoors all last year. Maybe some of you realize your pants don't fit you anymore. None of your clothes fit you anymore because you've gained weight and now you're suddenly newly curvy or you've always been curvy, but your clothing doesn't fit you anymore. And some sort of style goal is on your list. I'm not saying discard the style goal. In fact, I'm not even saying discard the weight loss goal if that's something you really want. But I want you to do it with a different mindset. If style was an inside job, and it totally is, how would your approach be different to shopping for new clothing? If your body and your weight and your size are not a problem to be solved, to be sort of forced marched, <laughs> how would you approach weight loss if that's something you decided to do? It starts with mindset. Now, my belief is that style is absolutely an inside job because my definition of style is that it's a reflection of your thoughts and your feelings about yourself. It's the manner in which you decide to show up, which is what you're wearing, but also the way that you speak, the way that you hold yourself, the thoughts that you think about yourself reflect outwardly. We could put the cutest outfit in the world on you. And I'm all about shopping for my clients and finding them super cute outfits to rock. But I would be doing you a disservice. You would be doing you a disservice if all we did was slap a cute outfit on you and left you to some janky ass thoughts. If you're struggling with your self-esteem, if you're struggling with your confidence, if you're struggling with your weight or your size because you think something's wrong with you or that you've given up or that you're flawed and you could never be fixed, that's what we need to work on in conjunction with or before we change anything about your outside appearance. It's like when someone tells you, I love you. Te quiero, te amo. Mucho, mucho en chingo, right? Right, like someone just loves you. But you don't really believe them. You're like, mm, okay. Someone's like, you're so beautiful. 
but you don't really believe them. So it like doesn't hit your heart or your mind. It just kind of slides off you and you're like, okay, thank you. Or even worse, you self-deprecate. Oh, but you know, this old thing, or if only you knew or not really, and you start to tear yourself apart. The same thing happens if I stick you in a cute outfit or you go buy a cute outfit but you don't really believe you're deserving or worthy of said cute outfit, it's not gonna make a lick of difference because the inside of you will not have changed and that is what truly matters. If style is an outward reflection of your thoughts and feelings about yourself, then we need to know what those thoughts and feelings are and we need to work on those while up-leveling your wardrobe, while teaching you how to show up and own a room confidently. We do those in conjunction with each other. But this year, I want all of you to examine those lists. Examine that goal list, examine that resolution list. And if it's only geared towards the outside job, changing your body, slapping a cute outfit on you without addressing any of the other stuff, none of it will stick. And you will find yourself here again a month from now, three months from now, six months from now, a year from now. And you will have eroded any bit of rapport you have with yourself, any little bit of shred of confidence that you had left, you will have eroded it. And I don't want that for you. I don't think any of you want that for yourselves. So many of you want a makeover, a transformation unlike any other. You want to have that moment in the movie where the doors bust open and you're like, yes, this bad is here, right? We all want to like channel that conquer and slay, like, yes, I have arrived energy. And I want that for all of you. You want that for you. But the only way to get it and the only reason I'm telling you all of this, the big why behind this is I want it to stick. I want you to still feel like a complete badass when the makeup comes off, when the cute outfit gets put away and you are left alone with just you and your thoughts at the end of the day. I want you to still feel good about yourself. I want that confidence to still be there. I don't want you to think it sort of washes away with the water when you take off your makeup. The you that is you will still remain The inside job matters. Style is an inside job. So let's work on the inside and the outside together. Let's move up those items on your list that you've always wanted to do, but you've been holding hostage because you think you have to change something about your body first. You don't. This is the year we are declaring the curvy comeback where style is an inside job where that transformation takes place inside first and then manifests so beautifully, so amazingly outwardly. So declare it with me. This is the year of the curvy comeback. If you are newly curvy, if you've been curvy since day one, I want you to take a look at that list and I want you to hit me up in the comments below if this is something you've struggled with. If it is, I have a course called No BS style course. (laughs) We bust BS fashion rules and I teach you how to create new ones. Or you can listen to past podcast episodes at Style Masterclass Podcast. All right, for now, Miss J out.